Pictures are meant to be shared, and this is the ultimate sharing tool. It's the HP PhotoSmart A626 Compact Photo Printer. Now, like the R937 camera, it boasts an interactive touchscreen. Now, this touchscreen opens a whole new world of options for us regarding the control we have over the printing process and the flexibility that we enjoy creatively. This is one big touchscreen. It's a 4.8 inch touchscreen. You, you're going to want to watch the hockey game on this screen. It's so big. Now, as far as the printer itself goes, it'll print off our photos in multiple sizes, either 4x6 or 5x7. And it does it fast, up to 37 seconds per print, so it's lightning quick. And it's got a whole bunch of additional features that I'll walk through as we go along. But really, it's designed to be a computerless printer. It's designed to go where we go. So it's got a handle to allow us to carry it from place to place, and it even has a place to put an optional battery in so we don't even need to plug it in for power. Now, as far as connecting it to whatever we want to print from, we can take memory cards of our digital camera and plug them directly into the memory card slots that we have in the front, and I've got a secure digital card in here. It's got two USB ports, one in the front that's being used by a Bluetooth adapter right now, which I'll talk to you about later, and it's got another USB port in the back. So if you want to plug it into a computer, you can, or if you want to plug it into your camera, into a PicBridge enabled camera using a USB cable, then the camera can send all of the photos directly through to the printer using PicBridge technology, which is an industry standard. Now, once you've got your photos in, you can start using the touch screen to edit those photos because if we don't have a computer attached, we need to do some minor modifications to photos and that's where this touch screen comes in and it's really powerful. You can use your finger, if I want to just choose my photo here, I can just use my finger to get into the photo or if you want a little more precise control, you can use the stylus that comes along as well. Now once you've called up your picture, you can do all sorts of things to the photo. We can go in and edit the photo and that'll allow us to fix it up. We can crop it, remove red eye and deal with the photo bright to deal with the brightness of the image, or you can go into the Get Creative area, which will allow us to do things like apply frames, lay out our photos for albums. We can add captioning to it, and if we tap on captioning, up comes a keyboard that will allow us to type in captions for photographs. Moving on, we can also draw right on the picture, which I will show you more of in a moment. Moving into the clip art area, you can add clip art to your photos. And in the design gallery, we can do things like we can add the slimming features that are in the HP's real life technology. We can change the, the color of the photo, turning it black and white or making it look antique. We have all those different artistic effects that we can have, as well as adding frames and all those other things. But what I mentioned that I wanted to show you is this ability to draw right on a photo. And I really like this. So you have the ability, say if you want to take this photo of me right now, you can adjust the pen size and I can adjust the color of the ink and I can make it red and I can sign an autograph, which would be a great thing to do. Or I can do this, which I really like to do, which is pointing out the mole on my cheek so people can see it. Once you've done all those things, you click on done and you click print and the printing process begins. And now it prints it out. Now, as far as the quality of print that we're going to get, we're going to get quality that's about the same as we're going to get from a photo finisher. It's using HP's Vivera ink system, which if we marry it with any of the HP's top end papers, especially their advanced photo paper, or their Premium Plus and their glossy photo paper, we're gonna get prints that look absolutely fantastic and will last for generations. The quality that we're gonna get out of this printer, basically as good as you're gonna get from a photo finisher. And that's stunning when you consider the size and the cost of the printer itself. As far as cost per copy, if, especially if you buy your paper and supplies in the value packs like we have here, then we're talking about costs of about 33 or 34 cents per print, which is very competitive with what you're gonna pay at a photo finisher. So as this print comes down the pipe, I want to talk to you about some of the other options that we have as far as printing. You will notice that I have a little adapter here. This is a Bluetooth adapter. Now the Bluetooth adapter will allow us to connect other imaging devices to our printer. There's no reason on earth that a portable printer should be limited to only printing out digital photos from a digital camera. Not when we all have things like this, like camera phones. This is my BlackBerry Curve, which has a built-in 2 megapixel camera here in the back. That 2 megapixel camera can take some great pictures. But the problem is that carriers charge us an arm and a leg to send these photos to our email so that we can finally print them out. This has Bluetooth built in. For about $30, I can get a Bluetooth adapter that plugs in to my printer here. I go into the Tools menu, go into the Tools, and there I can configure Bluetooth for my camera phone to talk to my printer. Once that's done, all I have to do is go into my menu right within the curve, say send this to the Bluetooth device, send it to the PhotoSmart printer, 
Click OK, and now we see the file is being transferred. Now this is a two megapixel picture. It's being transferred from the camera phone here itself into the printer, and as soon as the file is transferred, which we are now at 64%, it's scorching along. As soon as that's done, it'll print it off. That's what a flexible, portable printer should do. It should give us photos when we need them, where we need them. I think we can all see how the PhotoSmart A626 fits in our lives and the real ability to make things better for us. As I get older, the pictures of my friends and family and even my co-workers become so much more important to me. I'm fascinated at the fact that a printer like this changes the way that I look at photos. Kind of fires up the imagination, doesn't it?